to yeah. bite a gender kid. Yeah. Like, the next time you bite someone, I'm going to bite you. Um, yeah. So now that we're in agreement, don't bite people, don't bite people. Because yeah. the next time, I will bite you. Would you be, would you be okay with that? <laughs> but I have, I have seen it. <laughs> Facebook. I've never recorded a single stuff. video. How does Facebook know anything about me? Oh, not really. Well, YouTube. I don't, I'm just playing. I'm just I don't have 100% confidence. No, I shamelessly plug everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So, um, let's see. Do I look handsome? Am I good over there? Everything alright? Of course. Yes. Nice, thanks. Yes. Appreciate it. My name is Ty. I have a hobby. Hi, I'm Bethany. Bethany, nice yes. to meet you. I saw your talk today. That was yes. very cool. Very, yes. very cool. So normally I have a hobby where I talk to people about things that I'm strongly motivated by, things that they really strongly believe. It's fun if it's something that you think you may not be wrong about. And we could just, I'll ask that questions. I'm not trying to make this an argument or a debate. But I'm really trying to help you figure out, like, did I come to this conclusion using a good, reliable method? And um, if you want to do that on me, I'm totally fine with it too. I like to think of it as a conversation. Is there anything that you have, like, a really strong belief about? I think I need help on the uh, spanking for kids. Spanking for kids? That's definitely like a heavy topic. What's That's your position right now? one of my first um, talks that I saw in street epistemology. Uh -huh. It stirred like an emotional response for me. I probably would say I'm at a 90% confidence mm -hmm. that I'm against it. 90% confidence that yeah. you're against it. Probably when I first heard a talk, I was probably at 100. Okay. Now, now I've got that. Lower confidence. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's your position on spanking kids? Why are you still so high on don't spank your kids ever? Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> the Greek classic is how I was raised. So I'm really not not for it at all. Mm. Um, I don't do it for my kids. Mm -hmm. And um, I research the child development and how. You know how it can be harmful down the road and cause sure. these like adverse child experiences or really weird fetishes. Like yeah, 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 weird fetishes. You know, yeah, like just you know, yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering, is there a middle ground? Like maybe not necessarily. Like you do agree, would you say in discipline mm -hmm. your child, yes. but just not like harmful abuse. Smacking them or not. right, yeah, okay. more like more the constructive, positive parenting. Less on the let's see if we can find something else besides spanking first. Okay, yeah. what would be those some of those middle grounds? Probably, um, like taking away privileges or um, timeouts mm -hmm. or. Uh, Definitely probably timeouts and taking away privileges are the two main methods that I use for my children. Okay. Is there a possibility that something a little bit more harsh than that, not necessarily of spanking, but more harsh than just timeouts and taking away privileges could have a construction, uh, a constructive, beneficial outcome? Yes. What would you say is like the most, not spiky, but like the most aggressive form of discipline that would actually... Yeah. It's yeah. Like that isolating the child instead of just kind of helping them regulate their feelings. Sure. Yeah. And I, when I think I heard that, I was like, uh oh. It's like here I was away from spanking and now I'm, I'm moving towards it. And I thought, you know, time out was effective, but it may not be effective for my second child because mm. I don't know yet. Is there anything that's more harm or more aggressive than timeouts that you'd still be okay with? Like if I said, hey, I don't have kids, but like pretend I did. I said, um, I don't time out or uh, what was the other one? Time out or take away privileges. Mm -hmm. I just say, if you do this again, mm -hmm. then something bad's going to happen. Like, I, if, if you do this, it'll be immediate. But, like, we're in agreement that if you do this action again, you, you might get hurt because I don't know how to control myself on this. This mm -hmm. hurt me so much that I'm letting you know again, mm -hmm. child and me, you should be well enough player that if you do this again, this bad thing's going to happen afterwards. Kind of like stepping out in the street. Or like um, you hit a kid in mm -hmm. school or something like that. It's like, listen, do you know what that feels like? Mm -hmm. Okay, don't do it again, or I'm going to show you what that feels like. Or something like, like that. biting. Biting probably heard, is probably yeah, better. I've heard that one. That's probably best. That's, yeah. I when I was growing up, I bit a lot of people. I've yeah. been, I've been yeah. adults before, yeah. teachers and stuff yeah. like that. It's like if you bite, I'm going to bite you. 
too, so you know what it feels like. Yes. Are you cool with that? Because yeah. the next time you do it, yeah. the next that's what I'm, I'm yeah. talking to my yeah. engineer kid. Like, yeah. The next time you bite someone, I'm gonna bite you. Um, yeah. So now that we're in agreement, don't bite people. Don't bite people. Because yeah. the next time I will bite you. Would you be Would you be okay with that? <laughs> but I have I have seen it. <laughs> I would, be, I would be trouble with that. Can I pull into a context that I'm a little bit more familiar with? I got a cat. I love yes. my cat. I'm a cat yes. dad. I'm a really, really yes, big cat dad. Um, I squirt them with water. Yes. Or I, I move from water to air. Like I have a spray can of air and it works way better because one, it sounds like a hiss. Yeah. And two, there's no like long lasting mark. Because I think once he does something bad and I spray him with the air, 30 seconds, he has no idea what what I, is wrong. But if he's still wet, I feel bad. So yeah. just quick air spray can. And now it's gotten to the point where if I think he's doing something bad, because like I can hear some rumbling in the kitchen, <laughs> I just spray the can and I can hear him jump off the shelf and yeah. just like walk back to his bed and be like, mm -hmm. rooms away, no yeah. problem. If it was something like that for a person, like if it was an equivalent to like, hey, I'm going to spray you with water if you do that. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't respect that. Would you be more cool with that? Yeah, it doesn't sound, I mean, it's kind of strange, but I guess it would, it doesn't seem to me quite as harmful as, as like spanking or not quite, maybe not as humiliating, I'm not sure. What about washing your mouth with soap? Ooh. Yeah, I'm not kind of that either. Yeah. I think the pulp. That's, that's a good. I don't like the chemical aspect. Of it. Yeah, yeah, like exploring other possibilities. There's something I always wonder, like you know, I'm like this deeply held belief because I'm like, okay, I just want to make sure I'm in the, like the right place. Okay, how about this? How about this? I think I might be going on to something because I'm working it out too. <laughs> Someone does a kid does something bad, like beats up a kid, another kid in school. You're like, you find out your kid's a bully. Now you say, okay, check this out. Not only am I taking away your privileges, I'm not going to borrow the timeouts. You have to do these activities, mowing the lawn, helping that person mow the lawn, mow that kid's lawn. Like, you're going to have, you're going to talk to this person and you're going to work for that kid for the next couple of weeks or so and you're going to do some hard labor. It's going to suck. You're going to be sore. Mm -hmm. But you're going to build some character in, in terms of like empathy. People, yeah. Like building empathy with yeah. regard to people because you will realize what he's coming from when you yeah. do his work for him. Yeah. And if you don't do that, it's just going to get worse. Yeah. That's the that's the circumstance you are before we get back to square one. Mm -hmm. Imaginary kid. I'm sorry. If I'm no, 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 you're but like imaginary <laughs> kid, would you be okay with that? Yeah. Is yeah. that something you'd be more mm -hmm. aligned with? Yeah. Hard labor. Well, hard labor with bath and bricks and water, right? <laughs> 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 don't send me to your prison camp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> chores are good. I think I think chores and like learning how to respect other people and like community kind of like give back. Even like yeah. roadside trash pickup. Yeah. You know? Like Put in some community hours. Yeah. We're, there's a group of like there's a Boy Scout group or there's like yeah. a YMCA group. You're now volunteering hours for them until we're back to square one. Like picking up trash at a park. I mean, I learned a lot about like, hey, littering is not okay. Boom. Because I don't want to do that ever again. Okay. <laughs> so I think you know, short talk, but like I think we found like a really good middle ground that's more extreme than yeah. you know timeouts and yeah. You know, Privileges, yeah, like yeah. now you're gonna benefit the society a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Build some character, maybe you yeah. might actually like it, make yeah. it into a career or something. Yeah. See? It can work out. <laughs> the things I ponder when I'm watching straight epistemology videos. Awesome. Like